good day to everyone. Let's start our lesson. Please go to page number 54. And today we have the new lesson about the Canterville Ghost. Please write down today's date and the theme of our lesson. Task 1. Look at this text and watch the video. The Canterville Ghost by Oscar Wilde When the American minister, Mr. Hiram B. Otis, bought the large old house called Canterville Chase, everyone told him that he was very foolish. There is a ghost here, said Lord Canterville. I'm not afraid, said Mr. Otis. Mr. Otis bought Canterville Chase, and a few weeks later, he moved into the house with his family. Mr. Otis's wife, Lucretia, their eldest son, whose name was Washington, his sister Virginia, the twins, who were lovely little boys, but they liked to play tricks on people. As they got near to Canterville Chase, an old woman stood in front of the house. Her name was Mrs. Umney, and she was the housekeeper. Welcome to Canterville Chase, she said. I have tea ready for you in the library. Something has been spilt here, said Mrs. Otis. Yes, madam. That is the blood of Lady Eleanor de Canterville. No one can clean the blood from the floor. That's silly. He took a small black stick from his pocket and rubbed at the stain with it. The blood quickly disappeared. The next morning, they found the terrible stain on the library floor again. The whole family were now quite interested. By half past eleven, everyone was asleep and the house was dark. But suddenly, a strange noise woke Mr. Otis. He opened his bedroom door there was an old man in the hall. My dear sir, said Mr. Otis, your chains are making a terrible noise. The Counterville ghost stood still for a minute. He could not believe his eyes or his ears. He ran down the hall. As he got near the top of the stairs, a door opened and two little boys appeared. Suddenly, they threw a large pillow at the ghost's head. How could these people be so rude to him? Why weren't they afraid of him? The ghost appeared again on Sunday night, soon after the family went to bed. The ghost tried to put on a suit of armour and it fell to the floor. Mr. Otis and the twins ran downstairs. They saw the counterful ghost sitting on a chair. The ghost was very upset. However, after a few days, there was a terrible storm. When he heard the clock strike a quarter past midnight, he smiled and turned the corner. Suddenly he screamed. There was another ghost in the hall. He ran back to his room. But after a while, he decided to go and talk to the other ghost. The Canterville ghost touched the other ghost. He saw that it wasn't a ghost at all. He picked up the sign and read it. The sign said, The Otis Ghost, the only true ghost. Those foolish Americans tricked me. Every Saturday, he walked in the hall, but he tried not to let the family see or hear him. So the family decided that the ghost was gone forever. The young Duke of Cheshire had come to stay with the family for a while. One day, Virginia went horse riding with the Duke. She tore her dress on a fence and went home to change her clothes. She saw the ghost. He looked very sad. 
Don't worry, ghost. If you are good, no one will annoy you. How can I be good? Mrs. Omni told us that you killed your wife. Yes, it is true, said the ghost. She was a terrible wife, and I don't think it was very nice of her brothers to starve me to death, even though I did kill her. Oh, poor ghost! Are you hungry? No, thank you. I want to sleep, but I cannot. And I'm so tired. How can I help you? You can ask the Angel of Death to let me sleep forever. The ghost took Virginia's hands. Suddenly, the wall opened up into a big black hole. The family looked all over the house and garden, but they did not find Virginia. Virginia! Then, at midnight, the family heard strange music and ran into the hall. Just then, the wall at the top of the stairs opened up and out stepped Virginia. I have something to show you. The family and the Duke followed Virginia through the wall and into a small room. There was a large metal ring on the wall with chains hanging from it. On the other end of the chains was a skeleton. This is Sir Simon, said Virginia. His wife's brothers kept him here until he died. Four days later, there was a funeral at Canterville Chase. They buried Sir Simon in the churchyard. Virginia put some flowers on his grave, and her eyes filled with tears. Goodbye, Sir Simon she said. Please look at the vocabulary. Listen and repeat. A flash of light. A flash of light. Chain. Chain. Footstep. Footstep. Insulted. Insulted, light, light, revenge, revenge, sight, sight, torn, torn. Please write down these new words on your copy books with their translations. Exercise 3. Read the extract again and decide if the sentences are true, false or doesn't say. Exercise 6. Choose the correct item. And the homework exercise is exercise 7. In this exercise, you have to complete the sentences using the words below. Please do all the tasks. Good luck!